You're watching Voice Tube with Brandon Voice Guy. Ha ha ha! Alright, so this isn't going to be a remake of one of my old uh, Brandon Voice Guy presents. This is going to be more of an improv creepypasta with uh, kind of a twist that's going to be pretty obvious once you start getting to the story and if you're a horror fan or even from the the title should give it away I just thought I'd make this little ooh spooky story and uh, see what you guys think with that being said enjoy the shape in the doorway it happened around 2 a.m. Halloween night 1978 I was around 10 or so when I was fast asleep I woke to screaming coming from the house next door to me I look outside and nothing was going on uh, could I have imagined it I heard the screams again they were very faint as if coming from inside the house but there was no mistaking it there was screaming going on I could hear as if a commotion was going on things getting knocked over or someone getting rammed into walls. Next thing I know, I see squad cars coming in. More than I've ever seen in my entire life in one location. Their lights illuminating the small neighborhood I was in. When they got out of their cars, they just stood by the doors, aiming their guns at the door. They waited for what seemed like forever, just, just staring at the doorway. When... The door opened. I couldn't make out what was inside the door. It was as if it was darkness. Just then, an old man drove up and got out of the car and ran past the cops. They tried to stop him, but he got past. He was screaming something, telling someone to stop. I couldn't make out the name. He, he was also carrying a gun. Just then, something stepped out of the doorway. He, or it, was cloaked in mostly shadow. The only thing I could make out was his pale face, or was it a mask? The cops started yelling at him to freeze and put his hands in the air when the old man told him to be quiet. I could hear the name now. The old man called him Michael. For some reason, he didn't put up a fight. I was expecting him to start swinging his knife crazily at the officers and the old man, but he just dropped the knife and allowed the cops to cuff him. The old man ran to the doorway and started yelling for whoever was inside. I think he said, did he kill again? Did Michael kill again? Okay, so I apologize if it sounds cringy. I just thought it'd be an interesting concept for a creepypasta. I don't think I've heard many Halloween, uh, well, Michael Myers-centric creepypasta. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If it was bad, let me know. I, I can admit when I, you know, improvise a crappy creepypasta. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next Voicetober video. Well, I'll probably do a, a remake of one of my old creepypastas. Alright, see ya. Thank you for watching Ghost Seekers. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and request. Hit the bell to let you know when Brandon goes live or uploads another video. Check out the two videos on the screen and subscribe if you haven't already. There are also donation links in the crypt. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next voice over. <laughs>